Hello everyone and welcome to today's session by Stutters. In today's session, we are going to learn the poem Dust of Snow for Class 10. Before you watch the video, make sure that you have read the poem at least twice. To say about the poet Robert Frost, he is a realistic poet. Most of his poems depicts the reality of life. First, I will recite the poem for you and we will decode the meaning together. So the poem goes like this. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had been. Now let us see the meanings. Look at the first stanza. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. For those of you who don't know what a hemlock tree is, it is a tree that is seen in Northern America and Eastern Asia. It has small cones and short flat leaves. It is poisonous in nature. So here it depicts something sad or darkness. And similarly, crow. Crow is a scavenger and it is a representative of death or mourning. And it is also considered as a bad omen. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. So a crow was sitting on the top of a hemlock tree and the poet was standing near to it. So by the movement of the crow, the snowflakes fell on the body of the poet. Is that clear? Now let's move on to the second stanza. Has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had ruled. Rude means regret or sadness. So, has given my heart a change of mood means as soon as the snow fell, snowflakes fell on the body of the poet, the poet's mood changed from sadness to happiness. And the scavenger, which was considered as a bad omen, made all the difference. Now let's see all together. So a crow was sitting on the top of a hemlock tree and the poet was standing near to it. So by the movement of the crow, the snowflakes fell on the body of the poet. And the poet felt some kind of happiness. He was stressed out or sad initially, but as soon as the snowflakes fell on the body of the poet, his mood changed. He became happy and the crow saved his day. That's what this poem means. Now we will look at the rhyme scheme, okay? So read everything. Read the stanza. Read the first stanza. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. Crow and snow are rhyming words, right? Yes. So A A on me, me and tree are again rhyming words. Would be there. So crow, snow, me, tree. So what is the rhyme scheme here? A, B, A, B. That's how you find the rhyme scheme. In the second stanza has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had ruled. So heart and part are rhyming words. C, C. Mood and rude are again rhyming words. So D. So the rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B and C, D, C, D. Now let's find the poetic device in this poem. So there is alliteration in this poem. In the second stanza. So first of all, what is alliteration? Alliteration is the occurrence of the same sound or letter in the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words. Should keep that in mind. So here, look at the second stanza. The first line has given my heart. So here, her sound is repeated. Has given my heart. So her sound is repeated here, right? So there is alliteration here in the first line of the second stanza. And the third line that is saved some part. Sir sound is repeated here. So again here there is alliteration.
Now let us see the deeper meaning. Through the poem, the poet is trying to convey the message that there is nothing bad or unwanted in this world. Everything here in this universe is for a reason. And there is no such thing as bad woman. These are just the makings of mind. Take an example of the poem itself. The crow, which was considered as a bad woman, turned out to be a savior. It changed the mood of the poet from being sad to happiness. So, whenever you're stressed out or feel sad, look into nature. Look deep into nature. It can heal all your sorrows. Sometimes the things that you think are inauspicious can bring happiness in your life. So that's it. I hope this was clear for you. And if you have any doubt regarding this session, please post your doubts in the comment section below. And if it was useful for you, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So wishing you a good day.